in this video let's differentiate between graphene oxide and reduced graphene oxide i made separate video on graphene and reduced graphene but in this short video i just briefly differentiate between graphene oxide and reduced graphene oxide here i just suppose we have a graphene here this graphene we know it has a structure like carbon atom arranged in a hexagon shape and it extend in two dimensional shape like two dimensional like two dimensional shape so this is we call graphene right now uh, this is not a proper way to tell that from this graphene we get graphene oxide and then we get reduced graphene oxide this is the wrong way but just for understanding i just want to differentiate between graphene oxide and reduced graphene oxide basically we get graphene oxide through this way here we have graphite basically then we oxidize we get graphite oxide then we uh, from there we exfoliate and we get basically graphene oxide and from that graphene oxide we just again reduce that and that we get reduced graphene oxide and that reduced graphene oxide is more or less close just like graphene just like graphene not graphene oxide that reduced graphene oxide is just like this graphene right if you minimize the number of functional groups so that is just like graphene but for simplicity i just want to make a difference between the graphene oxide and reduced graphene oxide let's suppose it has a uh, graphene here right this is basically uh, uh, graphene and this graphene has nothing here if you look here this graphene has nothing no functional group is uh, attached here right and if we look here to the graphene oxide so this graphene oxide has three functional groups one is carboxylic group here and it is attached basically to the edge of the a sheet as we explained that it is in two dimensional sheet here right so this carboxylic group uh, which is basically c double o h uh, it is basically attached to the edge of the graphene right and the other two groups which is the hydroxyl group here and this epoxy group here and there is also c double o uh, c double bond with oxygen uh, uh, that is epoxy group and hydroxyl group it attached to the surface uh, you know basically uh, this two dimensional this is basically surface here this, so these uh, hydroxyl group in epoxy groups basically located at the surface and carboxylic group group exact located in the uh, edge side right so now when we basically oxidize the graphite as i explained before so the these groups are take to the uh, graphite oxide and then we again convert exfoliate graphite oxide to graphene oxide so now basically this graphene oxide is basically the the basic building block is just like a graphene just like graphene but we have additional functional groups now what is the difference between geo and rgo when we reduce number of functional groups in this graphene oxide it get to the reduced graphene oxide there is very simple difference in graphene oxide we have more number of functional groups while in rgo reduced graphene oxide we have less number of functional groups it is also clear from the figure here i just put few here and i put many there right now this graphene oxide depend on the oxidation agents how strong how concentrated the solution is to oxidize the block to get more uh, uh, graphene oxides and here it depend on the reducing the reducing process how powerful the reducing process is to convert graphene oxide into reduced graphene oxide so this means that if our reducing agents are powerful to remove the maximum number of functional groups so then this rgo is exactly more or less just like graphene so this is why we cannot get direct graphene but we get this through very lengthy process just like this one here we graphite then graphite oxide graphene oxide then rgo and that rgo is more or less we call basically graphene so this was the basic difference between graphene oxide and reduced graphene oxide and graphene graphene is just like this structure when the, uh, the when the carbon atom arrange in a hexagon shape and it extend in two dimensional shape that is we call graphene basically honeycomb structure now when we have many functional groups these three types 
that is we call graphene oxide and when we have very few functional groups that we call reduced graphene oxide.